Okay. I'd like to talk to you just briefly about how you register with the BEC2 website for the first time. You'll probably have been sent an email that has your uh, what, they, what we would call your security token in it. And this allows you to register for the site the first time. You'll have received this either by email or by a letter. You'll need that to hand and you'll also need your membership number. Your membership number may also have been emailed to you as part of the setup process. But if it hasn't, you'll find it on your membership card, on your BEC2 membership card. What I'd like you to do, first of all, in order to get into the site, you'll see here is the BEC2 website. It has uh, all of the usual features of a busy trade union website. And I'll be able to go over those with you in another video. But for now, just have a look here at the top right hand corner of the site. You'll see there's a member login. What I'd like you to do is to type your password into that. Okay? Uh, sorry, not your password, your membership number. Type your membership number into that field. And then take the password that you've been sent, the security token that you've been sent, and type it in the second field. There we are. Once that's in, you hit login. And sometimes your browser will ask you if you want to remember the password. Definitely say no at this stage. So either click the square here or not now. But make it no. Okay, once you've done that, you've logged in for the first time. And now you can create a new password. And it's important that you pick a password that you'll be able to remember easily. So pick something that's you know your mother's maiden name perhaps or your your first pet uh, or something like that one good tip to do is to pick something that pick a word that you know and perhaps change one of the letters into a number i always change e's into threes or o's into zeros so if you type the new password Make sure you've typed it correctly because you're going to need to confirm it a second time. And then it will ask you uh, to answer some security questions. You only need to pick one of these questions. So pick the easy one for you to remember. There you go. I've picked that. I could have picked any one of the other four. And then once you're ready, you hit submit. Again, it'll ask you if you want to remember the password. Say no at this stage. And there, the first thing that will come up is some details. You'll see that this plainly isn't really me because I'm not Miss Tess Esther. Uh, and I was born a good bit before 1980. But there you have the full personal details. And you can now see things here on the right hand side that ordinary members that haven't logged in can't see. And that's it. So if I log out now and then I come back and decide I want to log in again from now on it'll only let me in with my new password. So I'm going to put my membership number in here there and it will usually remember it. And then I'm going to type my new password. And now when you hit login and it asks you if you want to remember your password, there is no reason why you shouldn't say, yes, remember me. There we are. You're logged in as test tester. Thank you.